Well, what I thought was going to be an easy, sort of just quick job has now turned into a multiple, probably a multiple weekend uh, teardown part. So let me show you what I screwed up. Basically, the uh, steering linkage on this side had been falling out. As you can see, it's just, uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but all it is is um, there's a ball that gets screwed into this steering uh, center point, and then it comes up from the bottom, and then the ball gets is kind of in this arm right here. So let me see if I can get a better picture of it. So basically what I was going to do, I was going to try to fix this side because the one over here kept um you know falling out of the uh the metal crossbar so you know i said okay let me unscrew the, uh, unscrew this side this side was being a little tough so i you know put the impact wrench on it and here's what happened so that sucks so the ball busted, so now I have to drill out. Number one, I have to drill that out, which sucks by itself. But in order for me to be able to work onto this, or work on this, I need to pull this out. So in order to pull this out, I have to dislodge this pin right here, which is not, as you can tell, it's frozen in, in this. So that's gonna be a pain in the ass to get out, um, even to drop it out to get the axle even if i want to get the axle to make myself more room that's been frozen too i tried beating on that i finally got a torch to a larger torch to really heat it up so hopefully i can get it out this summer but uh what a pain in the ass so well here's uh this will be a new series new project so here we go so i'm starting to take this apart and i'm just looking at how much um What's going to be involved it's just this isn't going to be easy if you look so something else that just i just noticed on this is the um the pto i thought it was uh it works the pto works but i didn't realize the bearing in the back side of this is totally shot i always wondered why the shaft i couldn't slide it forward it would slide back but i never noticed that the bearing on the back side of this over in here is totally disintegrated and so the basically the bearing inner race or whatever you want to call it basically the the um part of the bearing uh sleeve or whatever you want to call it that the this shaft goes through is frozen to it so it's like catching so i can't slide it inward to be basically to disconnect it from the back so this is going to be fun, so I have a feeling I'm going to have to just basically, um, and this right here is basically below here, so I can't get a good, you know, hammer hit on this um, easily. So everything is just kind of blocking everything from getting to the next step. So I got to think about this one for a little bit. There's a good chance I'm going to have to like, you know, take the disconnect the chassis from uh, the transmission and just be able to flip it over so I have the be better access to it so I don't snap anything else, um, you know, trying to rush it. So I'm going to have to think about it. So we'll see.